Okay, we're here with Andy Opal, promoter and business DJ at Disco Kitten. Andy, how do you think your, your third birthday party went tonight? I'm quite happy with the third birthday. We had a very successful last month and um, I'm quite happy. To me, if people come into Disco Kitten and hear one track that makes them dance for that whole song, then I'm happy. That's all I care about. And I think a lot of people said they enjoyed stuff tonight, so I think everybody had a good time. Can you tell us a little bit more about Disco Kitten? When did Disco Kitten evolve? Um, basically, Disco Kitten started three years ago. It was myself and Jason Cortez. Um, funnily enough, Jason used to be my youth worker, and uh, he was in charge of running the under-18s events that I ran when I was 16. And he basically brought me through the ranks, and I helped out at Poppy. So, as soon as I was 17, I was driving DJs like Lisa Lashes and Savage, Judge Jules. So, and then once Jason had a spot, and I was interested in house it all kicked off and um, we basically, the whole point of Disco Kitten is we don't call ourselves a club, it's a party. We want people to come down here and hear stuff that they might hear at a cheesy club, not hear anywhere else. We basically have two things, bad taste a matter of opinion and we pride ourselves of being credibly uncredible. That's, that's what Disco Kitten's about. People can, people have and can say what they want about us, but as long as the punters come down and leave here with a smile, job's done. Can you tell us how long you've been DJing? Um, I've been DJing since I was 16 and I turned 25 last week, so nine years. Um, last week I celebrated my 21st, 25th birthday in two continents doing two disco kitten gigs. Jason and I did our first international tour of a man in the Middle East. Came straight back after the gig and then went and did the Disco Kitten barbecue party in Edinburgh. So it's a good way to celebrate your 25th birthday. What influenced your decision to start DJing? Um, I can't dance. <laughs> Funnily enough, I, you can ask anybody, I have absolutely no rhythm on the dance floor at all. But um, I just love putting on a party. I, I can't dance, so I think the next best thing is to put on a night so everybody else can enjoy having a dance. So that, that's what. So first, I got into promotion first, then I started DJing, and then I've really stuck with DJing my kitten because, I mean, Jason and I are probably the only two DJs that will play stuff that nobody else will. Dolly Parton, White Snake, just everything. That's, that's what Disco Kitten's about. Um, can you tell us what's planned for the future for Disco Kitten? I need to find out how stable Jason is and ask him. Um, I, personally, I'd like to try and bring in like a live thing. Maybe Jason and I doing three decks, bringing in a laptop and trying to do Disco Kitten live. Um, hopefully keep building up the club. Just putting on the monthly parties. If more people want to find out about Disco Kitten and what's happening, where can they get um, it? We've, got, uh, we've just relaunched our website last month. We have www.discokitten.co.uk. That'll give you a link to our Don't Stay In group, our Facebook and our Google page. And everybody's welcome. Plus, if they go onto the main page, they can sign up for a membership, which will get them discounts to every event and offers throughout every month. That's great. Thanks for talking to us, Andy. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed the night and look forward to the future. Thanks very much. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.